Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Art of Drumming HQ. Altay just started being a teacher and he wants to know if I have any tips and suggestions for teaching drums. I've been teaching drums for 16 years and here are three things that I would like you to try to adopt as a drum teacher. Number one is to strike a balance between teaching your students what you want them to learn and allowing them to learn what they want to learn. You can't let them learn whatever they want and you also cannot expect them to learn everything that you want them to learn. For example, technical fundamentals are very important and we have to teach each and every student even if they don't like it. But let's say the student's playlist of 20 all-time favourite songs doesn't even have a single double stroke. Maybe we shouldn't push double strokes too hard. Although, we can try to expose the students to songs with double strokes and show them how to use a double stroke and it just might intrigue them enough to pursue the double strokes with even more vigour. Or it might not. How I attempt to strike this teacher-student balance is I first have to have a core syllabus and then I intersperse it with what the student wants to learn. This is my core syllabus. I structured it in a way that teaches fundamental skills and techniques that everybody needs regardless of style and genre, like subdivisions, various techniques, limb muscle speed and stamina, grooves and fills. I also take my groove and fill examples from actual songs in the real world. This helps the student understand what they learn in the context of real music. My syllabus songs also draw on all the skills and fundamentals they learn at that particular level. For example, I teach them a double stroke at level 3, and then I give them a song with a double stroke groove to accomplish. Basically, everything you teach needs to make the most sense. Otherwise, your students have absolutely no reason to learn them in the first place. On top of that, I make sure I know what are my students' favourite songs and what are they interested in listening to from time to time. And as much as possible, I try to intersperse these in our lessons. Tip number two is to teach them how to practice and then make them practice practicing in class. Don't just teach them how to practice. In class, present a problem to them and ask them how best should they practice this. Then they have to come up with a practice plan on the spot. Do they break it down? Do they go slow? Do they go fast? Should they practice for 5 minutes? Should they practice for 15 minutes? And more importantly, why did they choose that plan? This will make your students a far better practicer in the long term instead of you just teaching them how to practice and they don't actually apply it every single week. Tip number 3 is to teach mindset all throughout. For example, I teach my students to be as patient with their goals as possible but at the same time, to be impatient with their practicing and execution. I give them my thoughts on goal setting, managing expectations, talk about perseverance, kindness, happiness, gratitude, and offer them real examples that I have experienced. I understand why some students and their parents might find this a waste of time, because you are not directly teaching about drumming. But in my opinion, mindset is more important than anything else. If the student doesn't have the correct mindset and understand the why and how to almost everything, it's going to be much more difficult for them to progress and be happy at the same time. That's why I talk so much about mindset on my social media as well as in class to my students. I push these things more than I push the ability to play a nice paradiddle. And I also have a not so secret agenda of trying to make all my students into kinder human beings. I will be the happiest teacher if my students can use their gifts in kinder ways. Rather than boasting about their drumming skills or worse, putting others down because they don't have the same skills as them. So those are my three top tips for being a super drum teacher. I might make more videos like this if any of you are interested. So let me know in the comments or directly message me. I hope this helps Alte and see you all at the next Ask Art of Drumming HQ show.